C3 plants on the flip side are like, well, I have this motor here, it's called Rubisco, and it'll balance the carbon to nitrogen uh, load. And the point I want to make for people real quick too is that cannabis plants, C3 plants, for example, take up nitrates. They use the power of the sun to convert that nitrate into something that ultimately at the end of that metabolic cycle has to meet a reduced form of carbon, an organic acid skeleton called 2-oxoglutarate in order to make an amino acid. Because even if hypothetically, let's just say you have the reduction power, you're a plant, you have a reduction power that's necessary to convert nitrate into an amino acid. It doesn't matter if you have the power, if the reduced carbon isn't there, right? And so as a plant, you know, like, hey, before I can reduce the nitrate, I have to have reduced carbon. And so these two are hardwired, they're connected to each other. The plant understands like I have a pool of fixed carbon in the form of organic acids that I can pull from that have already been reduced properly, you know, in the right format. And I have this pool of available nitrates that's coming up through the xylem and the plant's always trying